Chris, who ah. said, who said you've got to call out evil before you can defeat evil? Thank God America is again on the side of good and Joe Biden has united the world against this evil, this genocide, this war crime we are seeing in Ukraine. Who said that? Snagglepuss. Diana Prince. No. Stephanie Miller on Eamon Rohan's show Saturday night. And then you exit the answer is me. The answer is me. Me, me, me. Stephanie Miller. That's the answer. (laughs) Okay. You did very well. Aw, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, um, the pressure is getting... um, Uh Uh-oh. Wait, well, really? You people are getting ridiculous. The pressure's just getting too intense. Hang on, where is it? Hold on. Hold, please. Try and find me. All of Twitter? Yes, you did. Right. I, I, somebody said I look 25. Okay, people, stop. Oh, for God's sake. Stop already. So, seriously? Fit, fit people, That's how much surgery can one woman on have? Pardon me? That's just someone wanting to hear their own name on the radio. Yeah. They're baiting you, well, Billy see, Bass. Now I lost it. Now I lost the tweet. Someone said, Mama, you don't look 40. You look in your 30s. And then someone's like, who's that 25-ish? Oh, oh please. Oh, that's just... Correct. Is that what you're thinking? Seems correct. No, that's desperate. Yeah. Well, now I've lost that person's tweet. Oh. Okay. All right. I was thinking of Eric Bollert. Uh, we are all trying to be Eric, and mm-hmm. none of us are Eric, but uh, I was trying to Bollert as fast as I could uh, on MSNBC Saturday. I, a lot of people, I have to say, doing some Bollert, Bolleting for the Lord, as we call it yesterday... Uh, oh, I did not because I apparently I have a little more self esteem than I did. I did not watch. I, I watched a few minutes of Chuck Todd. Most people covered it for me. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, uncovering the truth said uh, Chuck. Uh, Chuck Todd said Biden is paralyzed by the immigration issue. Greg Abbott is kidnapping and trafficking migrants, but Chuck blames Biden. Trump never built the wall, but Chuck blames Biden. Why does Chuck blame Biden for Republican problems? Why is Chuck Todd still employed by MSNBC? Thank you. Okay. Right. Wait, there's more. There was another one. Hold, please. Oh, speaking of Greg Abbott, Hoodlum says Greg Abbott is a criminal who ruined almost a quarter of a billion dollars of fruit and produce at his border stunt to try to make Biden look bad. This is no longer politics. It is criminal behavior. Thank you. Correct. Thank you. See? Bullwording. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this one, Ida Bay uh, Wells said, I've been thinking more and more that newsrooms need to hold an all-staff meeting where they invite democracy experts and historians and really do a massive reset of how we are covering what's happening in our country right now. It's not about partisanship, but about covering reality. Isn't that exactly it? Like Eric's last piece that we keep talking yeah. about. The pe- more people think we've lost jobs when we have, in fact, gained more than any in history, 7.5 million. That is a massive failure of the media. Um, okay. Um, Andrew Weinstein said, only in America is a mass shooting knocked out of the news by another one a day later. I I can't even keep track now over the weekend, right? Uh, I, there are three yes. that, I, that, I, that I saw reported widely. Yeah. Um, also, Jared Kushner's story. We will talk to AG about that in yes. just a bit. By the way, she's going to stay with us for the hour because she's your God loves us and wants us to be happy. Yeah. Um, Jared Kushner did not have top secret clearance. Who gave him the info to sell to the Saudis the new $2 billion question? Thank you. We're going to talk to AG has a lot to say about that. Also, remember, Trump overrode them and got him his security clearance. Yeah. And there was a reason why he couldn't get clearance before that. Right. Right. Oh, I have. Oh, it was Glenn Kirshner, but on the Stephanie Miller show. So it did all come back to. Stephanie Miller. But I didn't say it, but Glenn did. Also said I was really good on him. This is really sweet. And so was he. I don't know if you saw him. All of our beloveds were on TV over yeah. the weekend. Jill Weinbanks mm-hmm. and Glenn Kirshner. But isn't that, it, it doesn't he always go right to it? We, it's, that's exactly what we're, we're talking about with justice right now. Stop being afraid of how the wrong people are going to react. Who cares, right? Okay. Pardon me. I'm moving on. Oh, yes. Judge Janine. A lot of people have thoughts on that. Yeah. Made me happy. Oh, here's the other thing. Oh, my God. Why? How? What has happened, Chris, that I'm on? And I think that was before I was even here. You had him on and you started to agree with him. Yeah, well, that's when the moon was in the seventh house. Jupiter aligned with Mars. Right. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Uh, He uh, talks of uh, Tocqueville. Am I saying that correctly? Alexis de de Tocqueville? Yes. Yes. Warns of that soft and idle terror that wears hearts down and enervates them. Are we indulging in that? Yes, the midterms look tough, but outcomes aren't faded. If Ukraine can beat Russia, Zelensky can prevail over Putin. Democrats can defeat Republicans. Um, Thank you. Someone, okay, that was another thing, thank God. This is why I bailed on Chuck Todd early, because people have already warned me that he already said something as if the Republicans have already won. Yeah. Like, I, How's Joe like Biden going to do it? Right, right. 
Um, Stephen Beschloss said, if you take as a given the Democrats will lose the midterms and you let doubts rule you, then you are part of the problem. Thank you. I, I, I just, I can't, okay. Yes, oh, here it is. Ray said, Upchuck just said, I'm curious what you think is going to happen to a Republican-controlled Congress next year. Do you... I don't know. Am I the only voter in a democracy that would like to vote first before I'm told who has won the election? Fair. Oh, my God. Please, let's wipe that whatever that thing is above the goatee. <sighs> Fart face. Something. <sighs> under the, the bangs. struggle bangs. Yeah. The, under that. Would you like to wipe that off his face? I would. Hmm. Wow, it's gotten quiet in here. I <laughs> oh, I found the tweet. It's Ned. Um, I was sitting there wondering who this brilliant 25-year-ish year old was, drop dead gorgeous young lady. Came to realize God. it was the same lady I listened to every morning. Great job, Steph. Thank okay. you, Ned. Thank you, Ned. Very, Ned very just close. wanted to hear his name on the radio. Yeah. Well, Ned yeah. is a man of exquisite taste. That sounded like mm -hmm. Mark, perception. That sounded like Mark. Meadows. Twenty. I am 25-ish. That sounded like Mark Meadows talking to Donald Trump. Seriously. <laughs> All right, New York Times pitch bot. Do you guys follow? They're Eric Bowler team as fast as they can. It's fantastic. Fair. Okay. The headline is, Jesus has risen from the dead. Here's why that's bad news for Joe Biden. Right? It's fantastic. Disciples in disarray. It's, it's the other accurate. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's like, okay. <laughs> there was a food fight Did going on at the, the, at the last supper. Did you see the Pillsbury Doughboy about Happy Easter? Yes. He has risen, and then there's a matzo guy. <laughs> it's like, he has not. Happy Passover. Yeah. It's, well, he's made a matzo. That, that gets shared every year. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was new to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, for instance, media tweets, whopping 57% of Republicans see January 6th as an act of patriotism rather than an insurrection. Uh, Caroli tweets, someone should clarify that Republicans, quote unquote, are around 30% of the country. This makes it sound like it's some kind of majority. It is not. Thank you. Yeah. The midterms are not done. They are not a majority. I, I think they could lose massively on these social issues. Most people are with us. They, they are, it is massive government control of your life, of your private life. We've got to get out the voters then because yes. they will show up to vote. Yes, exactly. All right. Uh, Zoe Lofgren, we'll, real quick. on uh, I, Again, where is this story that <laughs> senators are, are involved in the overthrow of the United States government? As uh, Rude Pundit said, why are they not arrested yet? Mike Lee, all these, what's his name? The guy that sounds like a putt-putt in Lubbock. Chip Roy. Chip Roy. Is there not a Chip Roy? Is that not a putt-putt in Lubbock? It kind of sounds like a steakhouse. Okay. <laughs> Chip Roy's. Yeah. It's a, it's a putt-putt and a steakhouse yes, exactly. in Lubbock. Yes, exactly. There you go. Right. Okay. Hit your golf and get a burnt steak. Okay. Although um, Senator Lee and Congressman Roy in the end voted to certify, they were certainly at, at some point advocating, you know, extraordinary efforts. And I think it's worth thinking about what the Constitution really provides. It says every uh, state, the legislature shall appoint uh, electors, uh, you know, choose how the electors will be selected. Every state has done that. They chose an election. Um, and if a state decided that the legislature wanted to appoint electors, it's not clear they can do that. Yeah. Um, she went on to say, she went on Part to say. Part of our whole system of government rests on the wishes of the voters selecting those uh you know either the congress or the, the president and what was being pursued here uh you know they were trying to get sydney powell in was to overturn what the voters had done extraordinary and very dangerous and the last text that mr roy sent saying it would be the end of our constitutional republic, that would be correct. Congress doesn't choose the president. The American voters choose the president. Yeah, I, is, it, is this a radical idea that anyone that worked to get a president should be in jail? Yeah. Okay. Like Just, that? That's election already happens. Right. Overturn the will of the... Okay. Yep. Zolofgren. Obviously, uh, you know from what's been publicly reported, there was a plot... Uh, that preceded the violence on January 6th. So it wasn't just, you know, randomly people showed up and decided to attack <laughs> the police officers and try and disrupt the proceedings. There was a, a, a plan and a plot, and many people were involved. I was saying Saturday night, it was like a joyride, right? These initial texts, it's like they all stole a car. They're like, yeah, yeah, go, go. Oh, this is great. And then, like, they see the 
police thing. They're like, bail out of the car. They're like, oh, this was a crappy idea. Be careful. I don't know what you're thinking, you people. It's crazy what you were thinking of. Oh, my God. You don't get to, like, bail out and then, like, you're not part of the crime. Just because you're like, oh, this is crazy. I mean, now it's crazy. Well, someone pointed out over the weekend that um, Mike Lee was saying in the the Bob Woodward and um, Bill Woodward Bob Costa book. Yeah. That he said in there that he didn't find out about this uh, Eastman strategy until January 2nd. Huh. Even though there are text messages from him on November 23rd saying, hey, there's this guy Eastman. You oh, should look into right. his theories. Right. So yeah. Mike Lee. Liar. He knows. Yes. Okay. I mean, he wasn't under oath for the book, but right. still, he knows that what he was doing was wrong. Right. Yep. One last one. So uh, I don't know how these uh, uh, messages get leaked, but I think it's a mistake just to focus on the dribs and drabs uh, that emerge into the public arena. We will have very substantial hearings in the very near future laying out uh, as much as as well as we can in in as detailed a fashion as we can uh, the evidence about what happened and we hope that that will be definitive and help people uh, renew their passion for the American democracy. Thank you. Let's hope that's true that happens right before the midterms because I think AG will echo this Mm -hmm. that if this is only dribs and drabs, how explosive this stuff is. Yeah. I mean, imagine how when we see the whole picture and it's on TV, I, I, I still have hope the Justice Department is going to have no choice but to do the right thing. I have a These are just pieces we're seeing.